I'm getting a lot of people who have been watching my videos uh, email me and tell me to slow down. They want to take a look at these hive tags that I have in front of all my hives. <clears throat> they want me to uh, talk about the hive tags a little bit and how I use them. So I'm going to walk into the shed here and show you the front of some of my hives and, and focus in on the hive tags and kind of describe um, what I'm doing and why I'm using them. So the hive tags are on the front of each hive and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk along and I'm going to read the information out to you corresponding to each hive just to show you what I do. Okay, so on this particular hive it reads uh, there's attack in seven which means 17. Uh, origin is own which means one of my own. I have other uh, placements there for when I used to buy the queens. I don't use those placements anymore because I don't buy many queens anymore so we breed our own which is why I use the code underneath of eight. So the code underneath the eight uh, is RML for Michael Lewis. This is one of Michael Lewis's uh, breeder queens. Uh, going down the way. So basically they're all, these are my nukes. So they're all gonna be marked as 17 as origin as own. So this is marked as an eight. So this is Michael's, uh, another one of Michael's. So we're in Mike Lewis's uh, nukes here. Here's one marked one. So one is KOV. So this is a Kona. No, this is KO1. So this is all Olivera's uh, breeder that I selected. So that's marked as one. Uh, let's just go down eye level here. So this one's marked as a seven. So that corresponds to my Clark, Don Clark's uh, breeder that I selected from last year. Bought some cells from her last year and I selected a breeder from her. Here's another one of the Clark's. This is six. Number six is PBQ. So PBQ is a is a blue marked queen from last year, a Kona queen that we uh, selected. Here's an eight. So that's another one of Mike Lewis's. Back into Mike's. There's an eight. Another one of Mike's here. Another one of Mike's, Mike Lewis's. Air into a bunch of eights here. We'll find some more. Oh, here's a nine. So a nine is RML. No, Mar nine is Merv. This is Merv Malian's, uh, one of Merv Malian's queens. Looks awesome. Here's a marked, here's a Nuke Mark three. Which is MBQ, it's a Kona Queen. Here's a seven, big one marked as a seven, which is a Clark Queen. Number three, MBQ, it's a Kona Queen, another Kona Queen, another Kona Queen. I don't know if this is focusing, another Kona Queen. So I'm just going to walk down the aisle to show you their, my apiary. Uh, you'll notice the youthfulness in my stock. Um, so I'll just walk down here. Okay, so that's a 15. So that's that's a Kona Queen. That's uh, not very young. That's a pretty good hive. And by the looks of it, she's doing quite well. Uh, this one here is a 2017 marked as own without a code, meaning when I went through the apiary, or through the hives, I identified her as a uh, queen replacement, they requeen themselves. So that's how I mark super procedures. Uh, this one's a 16. Last year's one of our own uh, blue queen uh, breeder. Uh, so this one's a 17 from last year too. Of one of our own marked as a three. This is this year marked as three through MBQ. And this one's marked this year as a five, which is one of the Clark queens. Very good queens. Uh, so this one is a 2017, marked as a two. LOV, it's doing fantastic. Another 17s there. Uh, this is a 2014, marked as a one. So this is an Oliveira's, uh, doing very well. Whether or not that's still a 2014, I don't know. She may have superseded, but this hive's been going since 14. This one's a 16, superseder. This one's a 15, 
the other tack got knocked out. This one's been going for quite a while. This one's a foster queen. By the way, you have the uh, US mark there specifically for foster. So that's a 15. Cooking quite well too. These bees are coming at me. This is a 16 from last year. This is a 17 from this year. Here's another foster queen of uh, a 15. Looks fantastic. Another foster queen here. I don't have an age on this one though. Oh, they're packed. So some of these older queens, this is a 16. Here's a 16, another 16, here's a 17. Let's go down the other side, 17. Well, these must be my splits. That's why I'm finding lots of use here. Okay, I'll go down another Nile. Here is a 2015. It's one of our nukes, 2015. One of our nukes in 15. 16 here's a 14 I don't know where this one come from 2014 looks fantastic 2016 this is super procedure last year the way I marked it there's no corresponding code so that's how I mark my super procedures another super procedure is 16 last year it's super it superseded 16 this one too this is a 16 let's go down this other aisle let's see what we got here 2016 this is a hive we made up last year here's a hive we made up last year 2016 from a Canadian producer breeder queen I um, uh, what I do is I exchange colonies for, with other producers just to get genetics a mix of genetics in my apiary here's here's her again last year these are actually Clark my breeders Bought some queen cells off them and made them do, they're doing fantastic. So here's a 1717. So as you notice, here's a 15. This is a Kona queen. These guys look fantastic. Here's another 15. This is a foster. It's marked as a five and I marked it as a, as a foster queen. Uh, from California, and they're doing quite well. Here's another, uh, this is an Oliveira's queen, marked as 16. In my selection yard, I run a separate selection yard, and I use a separate tag for that. And here's my tag. So the name of the queen up here, it's a black queen. Uh, and I have Nozema, Vigor, Temperament, Winter Cluster, Spring Cluster. Um, I have a Varroa spring and fall to measure my Varroa growth without treatment. Um, spring reserves, honey production, hygienic behavior, biting and such like that. I don't know how to determine that yet. But So I, what I do is I grade them one to five and this is what happens. So this one's I've graded as such. So I tally the grade from one to five. This one added up to a 32. Okay, so this next one beside it, RSK12. Um, my, as you can see, my assessments aren't done yet. I have to do a thorough varroa uh, test on them and uh, uh, just some other observations. But this one, through my observations through the year, graded an 18. And let's go down to this one here. Through all my assessments here, the RSK39 graded as a 28. So I don't know if, when I come to the end of it, I'm going to find all my characteristics I want. I'm going to look at that number 28. This one grades an 18 and this one grades as a 32. So I'm going to probably focus in on that 32 because it's meeting most of my characteristics. And I'm probably not going to take that 18 because it's, it's not grading as high where I want it to. So that's, that's how I'm uh, grading my selection yard. Just observations through the year. Um, and with these observations, I can instantly record their performance on this little card. So another card that I use is, I call it a cell builder card. I'll just show you here. All it is is just a card that lists the work. And then we correspond the work to dates when we complete the work. 
Uh, I find these cards really useful uh, when I'm doing cell builder work and when Carrie's doing the work. Uh, we know we can kind of communicate to each other when the work's being done um, and uh, we can see that the work has been done. It just helps, um, especially helps me uh, so at the end of the day I don't have to interrogate Carrie to figure out what has been done and what hasn't been done and what needs to be done. I can just uh, simply view this card and it tells me exactly all the information I need to know at the end of the day. Uh, these cards are tacked on the front of the builder hive and then this card follows the uh, graft frame and graft cells into the incubator and then we can correspond it onto our record keeping as we transfer them into the nukes. So yeah, I just found these cards to be really useful and just uh, helping increase the communication between Carrie and I throughout the uh, building uh, season. It just helps keep our communication more fluid between each other and by that uh, we just were able to manage a day a lot more effectively.